Hi, first of all, I am shooting the video after a very long time. So extremely sorry for that. I know I don't have any excuse to give you guys, but I should record videos consistently and I'm saying sorry again. But from now onwards, I will try to be consistent. So in today's video, we will discuss about what is micro front end and how it can help a large organization or a project with multiple teams or with multiple technology. So let's start the video. Hi everyone, this is Subrat and you are watching Fun of Heuristic. So on this channel, you will get to know about the programming languages, the framework and all about the algorithms. So please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon if you haven't yet. So first thing first, what is micro front end? Many of you already know what it is, but some of you don't know what is micro front end, but a lot of you know what is micro service. So it's kind of a similar. So what the micro service is, you divide your service to a small micro division and you consume them in a client by using some gateway or some, there are a lot of things are there. So similarly, in the micro front end, you convert your application to a different micro front ends. Think like your, your one cart will can be another micro front end application. Your home page can be another micro front end application. Even if your home page can have multiple micro front end applications, which can be plugged to your base application. So think like your base can be a gateway. I'm just saying this to compare with the microservice, but think like you are, you are rendering to the user with the application, which is developed by different teams independently. And we just plug them and display to the user it will not hamper anything in the user experience. In some case, it will increase the user experience by the efficiency and lot of things. So that's why large organizations are adapting to micro front end and we should know what is micro front end, how you can implement that. So maybe I will make uh, three, four videos about my micro front end and try to cover all. We will going to use Angular obviously and Angular elements to create web components and wrap them so that we can use that as a micro front end in some other application. It can be a normal HTML application, it can be an Angular project or can be a React project or Vue project, doesn't matter. We're going to export it as a web component so that we can use it everywhere. So in today's video, we'll not do any code. I will just try to explain what is micro front end and what is the path for our three, four videos so that it will set a context on you and whenever you will see the next video, it will be easier for you. Here you can see that I have created a simple page which has a header, a footer and some element. So you can think like this is trending topic are coming, this is, these are the recommendation products are showing and some, some other, other things are displaying on a screen and this can be independent. As you know previously, by the normal application way, which is a single page, single bundle application, you will write, going to write all, you will convert these to different component. Maybe you will have separate component inside each component, but you will wrap them in a component and plug, plug that to a parent component. And that parent component can be plugged to the, your main component, which can, which will be displayed in your browser. So this is what we are doing in our normal single page, single bundle application. So in the case of micro front end, what is the scenario is we have this header, footer and the whole body as our base app. The micro front end comes into the picture is all this component. Now we'll try to convert all this to one micro front end project means one different project, this to one different project, this to one different, this to one different and this. So you can do according how your requirement is. And now you'll ask me Subrat, why we're going to do it? We can do it inside a project. We can lazy load them and do a lot of things for efficiency and it will be good. And you are correct. So if you are a single team developing whole project, then you can do a lot of efficiency in a single bundle application. But think like a large project and you have divided that to multiple teams. Like suppose think like Amazon or think like YouTube itself. So they have converted into multiple teams. Your recommendation is separate team, your cards is separate team, your notification is separate team. So coordinating between different teams and releasing the application as requirement time will going to be harder. That's why the microservice concept came. 
So now all the teams are individual and now they can deploy independently with their feature. So if someone is consuming them, they'll have the latest updated feature. But that didn't happen in the case of frontend. So frontend was developed as a single bundle applications. So if you want to change something, you need to download the whole code, edit the code, deploy it. So who will be the core team? They need to validate that. Okay, everything is working fine. So what is happening in some organization is due to this huge coupling of huge dependency of different teams, some applications are releasing in three months at once. So their release cycle is pretty large. So you, if you want to have a, a sim, small feature, you really need to go with a lot of validations and a lot of things, so which can be avoided in micro frontend. So I have my application, I know what to do. I can deploy it, I can release my pre-change to a maybe stage environment and the core team just need to check the frontend that is it breaking their thing or not. They, they need not need to go to the, to the whole code. I'm just saying ideal condition, but they can check the front end that they can test, do some tests, run some tests. And after that, we can go live independently instead of that all the other projects are not going live. So that's the main benefit of micro front end. And the other benefits are now each and every team can use different technology. Like my team, is loving Angular, will develop with Angular. Some other team loves React, some other teams love Vue. So everyone can develop their own micro front end in, in their desirable technologies and that can be plugged to the base app to display to the user. And there will be no difference to the user that how the site is behaving. No to little difference to the user that how the site is behaving. But that's a possible scenario that you can use multiple technologies and can plug together to have a great product. So what you will get in this series means in the series of three, four videos. So we're going to use Angular, the base app also to develop micro front end and to make the web component, we're going to use Angular element. And in further onwards, I will show you how you can load them obviously and how you can lazy load them on demand. Suppose you, you want to load a certain part on certain time, then you can how you can load that. The whole bundle lazily means whole sorry whole micro front end lazily and how you can deal with a different user will see different micro front end. So you'll do some backend and we'll try to fetch. I will just give you an idea that how it can be possible from the backend side to fetch different URLs of different micro front end from different CDNs. So talking about CDN, now your micro front end can be served through a CDN so that it, it will be cacheable through the browser and it will be a lot faster in your user's machine. So please hit the like button and please don't forget to subscribe so that you will not miss the micro front end series and which will going to be loaded with uh, information, loaded with real time use. After this, you can develop a pretty good application and which will going to help you a lot in your professional career or if you want to do a large project. Also, micro front end can be used in between your team if you guys are developing small projects, but you love different technologies. So that's it for today, guys. Today we discuss about what is micro front end and why we should use them and how the companies are now required to use micro front end. So this will going to be front end for the future. And the next video, we'll try to do a micro front end in Angular and using Angular elements. Till that, be happy, keep coding. So this is Subrat Misra signing off.